Governor Tom Wolf's push to raise Pennsylvania's minimum wage is gaining some Republican support. In fact, two lawmakers proposing legislation that would increase the minimum wage from $7.25 an hour to $10. But there's the most significant part of the bill. Channel 11's Joe Arena reports it would permanently tie the minimum wage to inflation. Pennsylvania is currently tied with Virginia in having the state's lowest minimum wage allowed by federal law. But simply raising the hourly rate is something business owner Matt Volker says would hurt everyone in the long run. And not to mention an increase now would only put businesses like his behind the eight ball even more. After this past election, I decided I'm just taking a bull by the horns and I'm going to start doing what I think is right. And what Republican Senator Dan Laughlin thinks is right? Raising the state's minimum wage to $10 an hour. Right now, the state minimum wage is $7.25, which is roughly a little over $15,000 a year. And that rate was set back in 2009. Laughlin is one of two Republican senators siding with Governor Wolf on raising the minimum wage. But the governor is pushing for $15 an hour, which Laughlin says is too much too fast. And Southside business owner Matt Volker, who had to close the doors here at Nadine's for six months during the pandemic, says this discussion about any minimum wage increase shouldn't be happening now. But everyone thinks this is a great idea, but if you look in the long run, it's going to hurt everything. And how? Matt says raising the minimum wage will only make the food he serves more expensive. And after a year of increased food costs at his business and now gas prices going up, there's only one way to make a profit. We're going to have to bump our prices up again, and that might off some customers. I don't know. You know what I mean? But Senator Laughlin says this increase, if it becomes law, won't happen overnight giving businesses like Matt's a chance to get back into more stable territory. I think by the time that this bill would actually make it to the governor's desk, uh, the restaurants will have been fully open uh, for probably some time. Uh, and I also think there's some pent up demand for people to go out to dinner and uh, travel and do things like that. The senator's proposal would also permanently index the $10 minimum wage to inflation, meaning the wage would go up according to inflation, something Matt and other owners say is not how they run their businesses. Whoever works more makes the most money, and the harder you work is the more money you make. On the South Side, Joe Arena, Channel 11.